Wendy? The first star. Why don't you make a wish? Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Red dancing shoes. I'll make a wish too. I wish, wish your, your wish, wish comes come true. <laughs> <laughs> now, how can I get Wendy her wish? Country cobbler. Shoes, boots, slippers. That's it. Hmm, but what'll I do for money? <laughs> Those shrieks are all too familiar. <laughs> I must help that poor cobbler. Hmm, that shoe gives me an idea. <laughs> Who's at the door? The place is bewitched. The shoe has come to help his master. Mr. Cobbler, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly ghost? I'm sorry you were frightened. How can I ever repay you for this big favor? You just name it. I'd like to get a pair of red dancing shoes for a good little girl. You got them. And all the witch will leave a pair to be fixed. She no return, so I give them to you. Here they are. Golly, they're beautiful. But I hope one thing, that they not be bewitched. That's strange. There's no one here. Gosh, they left a box. And it's for me. Golly, my wish came true. The good fairy must have heard me. I'll try them on and try a few steps. Control my feet. Uh oh, they are bewitched. I'll have to get them off her feet. Don't worry, Wendy. I'll. Oops. What a terrible thing I've done to Wendy. So you see, Mr. Cobbler, I must find the witch who left those shoes. Her name was a witch a weevil. Where can I find her? You go see the broom maker up the road. He might help. Benny the broom maker. I'll be with you after one more trial run. Golly, he's a broom test pilot, too. A perfect landing. <laughs> See, that old witch weevil won't recognize her old broom when she returns for it. That's witch weevil's broom? Uh, yep. I must see her. If you see her, would you do me a favor? Give her this. But where does she live? In the dismal swamp. But please be careful. They say it's haunted. Gosh. Dismal Swamp. Keep out. Witch Weevil Landlady. I may as well use her broom. Who knows how long I'll be on this search. I want all the insults. A ghost riding a broom. <laughs> oh, I'll fix him. Hipsy dipsy doodly showers. Now you have no ghostly powers. <laughs> What happened? That's only a sample of what happens to anyone who trespasses on Witch Weevil's property. Witch Weevil, remember those dancing shoes you left at the country cobbler's? Dancing shoes? Why, yes, what about them? Well, the cobbler let me have them and... What? My property given to a ghost? And I gave them to a good little witch girl. You gave them to a good little witch girl? Well, is she happy with my dancing shoes? No, she can't stop dancing. Please, Witch Weevil, stop the dancing shoes. <laughs> she shall go on dancing forever and ever. For making me sore, you shall ride the broom forevermore. <laughs> What's the matter, little ghost? Wh who are you? I'm the fairy who sweeps the stardust from the sky. Maybe you can help my little friend. You want to help your friend, but how about yourself? My problem doesn't matter. It all began with a wish on a star, so let the stars free you. The spell is broken. I'm free. Yippee! The shoes have stopped. Look, good fairy, the shoes have stopped dancing. 
Casper, your unselfish wish was the magic that broke the witch's spell. Look, Casper, I've learned to control my dancing shoes. Yeah, how about that? should now like to retire on me pension. Pension? Retire? <laughs> Nonsense. I say, uh, fill up the pool, James. I'm going in for a swim. Yes, my lord. Oh, dear, 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 dear. This window is filthy. My lord will be furious if he sees it. Gad! Crystal clear! to discuss me pension again, my lord. James? <laughs> James! Come in, my lord, come in. Whoops! Excuse me, my lordship. You call, my lord? I'm waiting for my martini. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> Memory fails me, my lord. What are the ingredients of a martini? Three parts distilled gin. Yes, my lord. One part vermouth. Quite, my lord. Dash of bitters. As you say, my lord. And stir, but don't bruise the ice. Onion, my lord. Hon uh, <coughs> onion, by all means, young man. Your martini, my lord. And now, my lord, about me pension. <coughs> Wheat drink, James. It's all ice water. <laughs> Yes, James. Tonight, I propose to Lady Worthington. She has a mad passion for handlebar moustaches. The lovely Lady Worthington. My dear Lady Worthington. Oh, I adore your beautiful moustache, darling. <laughs> it's a gift from father, you know. A cigarette. Hate it. Champagne. Loathe it. Music. Love it. Jeems. Light the candelabra. I should stay away. Uh, but what can I do? Smashing what? I hear your name. And I'm a flame. <laughs> They say, a flame with such burning desire that only your kiss 
can put out the fire. Oh, your moustache! I could never marry you now, Irving. Without it, you look positively naked. My lord, now about me pension. Here. One, two, three. Now go, leave, retire. Is that all, my lord? Why, it's hardly enough to keep me in fish and chips. Here. Perhaps I'd better get back to me duty, sir. No, no! Anything but that! Here, take this! I would appreciate an extra shilling or two for an occasional bottle of stout. Will this do? And then there's me severance pie, vacation money, hospitalization, old age benefits. My pension. Oh, come now, Irving. Let's be original. Being able to sleep is keeping me awake. If you can't get to sleep, just plug up your ears. With no noise to disturb you, you'll sleep well for years. That sounds logical. Your way to get any rest is to get a blackbird fresh from the nest. Eat him in pie, croquettes, or in stew, and you'll sleep like a top. Pleasant dreams to you. Hmm, a blackbird. That sounds logical. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. I've quite a call it a day. Good night, fellas. Good night, kitties. Good night, everyone. I ask why to hit the hay. First, toast two pieces of bread. Butter the toast and add some spice. If you like croquettes, tasty and nice. This crow's why to be a dead duck. Mm -mm. That man's got insomnia. That's all I has to know. Boss, boss, eating at this late hour is the worst thing you could do. It'll keep you awake all night. Awake? But I ain't slept for weeks. Just leave it to me, boss. 
the best way to get some sleep is to start right in counting sheep. That sounds logical. And I's going to be the little lammies. Ba One. Ba two. Ba three. Ba four. Ba be tight, boss. <laughs> I didn't sleep a wing. That's a gross misunder-exaggeration, boss. Look, you were sawing wood so hard, you went right through the floor. Well, what do you know? Now, if you wants to get sleepy, you gotta relapse in a good hot bath. That sounds logical. Now, boss, ain't that cozy? Soon you'll feel dozy. Sleep tight, kitty. So long, stupid. I just want to leave you now. Uh -uh. This time I'm doing what the book says. But, but, boss, I can explain everything. Comes the sand man. <laughs> Time to hit the hay, boss. <laughs> Time to retire. <laughs> Rock a bye, kitty, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come Kitty. Boy, what a mess. a secret launching of a new rocket. Now I want you fellas to get over there and get a picture of that takeoff and scoop all the other papers. Okay, Chief. Are you still here? Haste makes waste, I always say. Get going! Where's that elevator? Hey, wait for me! So long, Slowpoke. to cover the launching. Sorry, buddy, but photographers aren't allowed on this base. Photographer is not allowed on base, eh? Well, I'm getting in there and getting that picture. Well, there's more than one way to snap a picture. to 
find the launching pad. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Liquid fuel delivery. Okay, go ahead in. Uh-oh. I'd better get rid of this cigar. get a snapshot without being detected. Oh, boy! This'll make a perfect picture. Hey! Who goes there? Saboteur! It's the firing squad for you! And hut! 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 Two, three, four! Hut! Two, three, four! Hut! Two, three, four! You got any last words to say? I only regret that I have but one life to give to the nosy news. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh boy, I got it! of the launching. Why, that's as old as yesterday's news. Er, uh, I got the scoop. Now I gotta tip that public enemy number one, Foxy Fagan, is gonna rob the bank. And the one that gets back without a picture is fired. Okay, Chief. <laughs> Always say, haste makes waste. <laughs> God, look at the size of those snowflakes. Come on out, Casper. The winter air will make you feel good. Good and bad, I hope. I'll fly along with them. I hate spending a winter day all alone. It sure is cold. Boy, it's snowing harder than ever. I can hardly see where I'm flying. <laughs> I'm all covered with snow and ice. Help, I'm falling. Me too. It never snowed like this before. I give up. Let's go home and thaw out. I better ask old Saul to turn on more heat before everything is frozen solid. That's funny. I'm closer to the sun, but it's still so cold I'm turning blue. Oh, hello, Casper. Gosh, Saul, what's wrong? Why aren't you giving off any heat? I'm sorry, Casper, but some little rascals in a spaceship stole my heat generator. Golly, that's awful. And I'm so cold, I couldn't even look for them. I may be able to drum up a bit of heat for you, Casper. <coughs> ah, I'm feeling like my old self again. I've about had it, Casper. You better find them fast. Don't worry, Saul. I'll bring back your generator. Gosh, there goes the spaceship. Hey, wait. Full speed ahead. We're being followed. You've got to listen to me. Yike, here comes that guy again. Lucky we're almost home. Wait, I want to talk to you. Who are you, anyway? I'm from Earth. I came to get the heat generator you took from the sun. Oh, yeah? Well, it's ours now. 
now, sonny boy. But it doesn't belong to you. Who's gonna stop us? You? Take that. You can't hurt a ghost with that ray gun. Sempran Snowball! Quick! Get the ship inside the Ice Palace! Wait! Can't we be friends? Who wants to be friends with a ghost? I've got to get that generator back. Ooh, this place is like an ice box. Here's the heat generator, King Cool. Good. Now we can keep our planet nice and warm. Just a minute. You can't take what doesn't belong to you. It's the space book again. That generator belongs to old Saul, a son. Scram, Spook. I'm keeping it here in my ice palace, see? Well, I'm not leaving without it. This will cool you off. <sighs> that ice water froze so fast, I can't move. Take him up and toss him out the window. That'll get rid of him. Yes, King Cool. That's the end of you, Spook. God, I'm so cold, I can't use my ghostly powers to get free. What a break. The friction of that slide melted the ice. I've got to make King Cool give back that generator or Earth will be frozen. Come on, fellas. I must have that generator. It's that Earth spook again. Well? Spook, you're going in deep freeze. Lock him up in the ice caverns. Maybe I'll think of some way to convince them while in there. You know, this isn't being very friendly. This place is colder than the ice palace. I wonder where this cave goes. Uh-oh. I'm all covered with coal dust. Golly, the walls here are all cold. Hmm. Those stones I kicked struck sparks. If I make a big enough fire in this cave of coal, it might be able to heat up the whole planet. Gee, this place is getting red hot. I wonder if this heat is getting up to the ice palace. Thank goodness I got rid of that coal dust. Hey, the spook has escaped from the ice cavern. Wait, King Cool. I found a way to heat your planet. Gosh, he's right. It is warm and cozy all of a sudden. Now that you have your own heating system, will you return the generator to the sun? Of course, Casper. My people will take it back on the spaceship for you. Goodbye, King Cool. I'm glad to have made such warm friends. Goodbye, Casper. Thanks for your help. Thanks to you, Casper, I can rise and shine again. Ah, <sighs> that sunshine feels real good.
here in the snow. It's that catnip, Hyman. Yeah, he chased us out again. Oh, he did, eh? Catnip, I don't know what I would do around here without you. Just leave everything to Cousin Hyman. Watch the house while I'm shopping, Catnip, and I'll bring you a nice present. are on Cousin Hyman, fellas. Ha, 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 ha. 
the full appointment. And if you don't, if you do away with us, Mike, you lose your happy home. Lose my happy home? What do you mean? Just look out there, catnip. At those poor homeless cats starving in the cold. That awful. You know, you're making it very tough on my chums, pal. And one of these days, they're gonna pack up and walk out on you, and you'll be out of work, too. Oh, no! Wait a minute, fellas. I'll do anything if you just stay. I'll give you the run of the house. You think we ought to give them another chance, boys? Gee, thanks, fellas. around here. And stay out! What's your problem, Timothy? Today is Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, uh, if you were thinner, nobody would want to eat you. This vibration treatment will take off weight. Skipping rope will make you lighter. Save 
Auntie's neck. This will make you thin in a hurry. Nothing could be that bad. That's what you think, Jeepers. Here, read it yourself. So what are you worrying about? I never went camping in my life. Relax, pal. I wasn't an Eagle Scout for nothing. Leave everything to your old friend, Jeepers. Gee, you're a real pal. You're gonna be a real hero to that kid, Creepers. You'll look just like Daniel Boone. Do you really think so? Are you sure my Uncle Creepers, the world's greatest hunter, lives here, huh? Yes, I'm sure. Get your guide here, Coonskin Creepers. Specialist in hunting, fishing, camping, and stuff like that there. I'm ready, Unc. Let's start for the wild woods, Unc, and camp and stalk wild animals, huh? And guys like Kit Carson, Buffalo Bill, and Davy Crockett were just babes in the woods compared to Coonskin Creepers. Golly gee. I can't just walk another step. Gosh, what happened to Unc? Why, you rubber, he just stopped to set up camp. Well, how about that? Uncle Creepers, will you show me how to light a fire by rubbing two sticks together, huh, will ya? Oh, <laughs> it was really nothing, Frisky. Gee, what a swell knife. Will you show me how to throw it, Unc? Huh? Son, Coonskin's the best knife thrower east of the Drippasippi. Oh, boy. Let's see you split a card at 50 paces. Okay, Unc. Fire when ready. Wow, that's real 
king, Uncle Creepers. Now will you show me how to catch one of those big muskies, Uncle? Will you, huh? Will you? Huh? Skin not only caught it, but mounted it, too. Gosh. How about showing me how to hunt bears, Unc? Huh? Will you, huh? Will you? Now, when I chase after the kid, you save him from the nasty old bear and become a hero. Jeepers, you're a genius. <laughs> your selection, sir, from any of these late models. Now, this is Electronica, designed for heavy housework. That's the one I want. Let me show you how she operates. A sample of your voice, please. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. She is now set and will only respond to your voice to demonstrate. Order her to clean this up. Electronica, clean up that dirt. Oh, she must be ordered to stop, or she just repeats whatever she was told to do. Electronica, stop. Great! I'll buy her! 
her name is Electronica, and she can do all our housework. Oh, yeah? Well, sweep the rug. Electronica, sweep the rug. Well, dear, what do you think? Well, uh, I don't know. It... Just wait till you see how she serves. Electronica, bring us some coffee. I'll answer the phone, dear. Made. Uh, don't worry, dear. She can straighten it out. Electronica, clean up these dirty dishes. Now put all the dishes in the cabinet. That's very good. Now that the housework is taken care of, I'm going down to the corner for a beer. to be true. Aren't you boys starting a little early tonight? We have a big scare raid coming up. We need some extra practice. If I can't sleep in peace here, I'll find a place where I can. That distant mountain looks just right. Golly, listen to all those snores. That explains it. It's Bear Mountain, and all the bears are hibernating. All these snoozing sounds are making me sleepier than ever. Now, where can I sleep? No snoring in this cave. I wonder if it's empty. I'm in luck. It's empty and with a good warm blanket, too. Oh, what's the use? I may as well go back and try sleeping again. That does it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now someone has taken over my cave. And my blanket, too. Enough is enough! A ghost! Where am I? You're in my cave, sleeping under my blanket, Mr. Ghost. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Bear. I thought the cave was empty. Uh, uh, then you're not here to haunt my nights? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and I never haunt anyone. That's a relief. I've got enough trouble. Would you like to tell me about it? It sometimes helps to unbear your troubles. Oh, Casper. <laughs> I can't sleep. And it's so lonely with all the other bears asleep, too. I know just the sleep doctor who can cure your trouble. Sleep doctor? The Sandman. He'll know how to make you sleep. The Sandman? Uh, do you really know him, Casper? Sure. He's one of my best friends. Gee, that's funny. I thought he was only a fairy tale. He's for real, all right. You just wait here. I hope the Sandman isn't asleep when I get there. I hate to bother him. He looks like he's busy on a big project. I know. I'll become invisible until he's through. <laughs> a big project? Sand castles. <laughs> uh, who's that? Who do these things? The place is haunted. Gosh, I forgot I'm invisible. No wonder he was frightened. I'm sorry, Mr. Sandman. It's me. Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> oh, Casper? I should have known. Say, what brings you here at an hour when all the good little boys should be there to sleep? Well, it's a sleep problem of a friend of mine. Here's the Sandman, just as I promised. Uh, 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 hiya, Doc. Now what do we do? Well, we just sit and wait for the sand to take effect. I might as well let them sleep. I've always been a good bear. Why should this thing happen to me? <laughs> Everyone's asleep but me. Gosh, the sand worked on us but not on him. I feel just awful about this. Oh, this air mattress is terrific, Doc. Good, and now to get to work. <laughs> Sheep? Yes, now you start counting them until you fall asleep. Okay, Casper, you know what to do. Follow me, girls. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bear. A one, a two, a three, four, Five, oh, oh. Six, Mr. Sandman, seven, do you see what I see? Eight, Mutton nine, chops ten, and lamb stew. Eleven, twelve. Mr. Bear, I'm ashamed of you, especially when the sheep are here to help you. I'm sorry, Doc, but I'm as hungry as a bear. What do we do now? I don't know, Casper. Let's just go outside and think about it. Oh, this has never happened to me before. It's not your fault, Mr. Sandman. You did your best. Say, it's real quiet. The storming has stopped. That means the hibernation season has ended. Now Mr. Bear can join the others. Gee, now he's asleep. Then I didn't fail him after all. Come, Casper, let's not disturb him. You know what I discovered? It was the snoring of the other bears that kept me awake. Good night. <laughs>